Hey there everyone, now in this video we are going to create the models related to the order. So we will be requiring three models, so one is for storing the orders and one will be for storing the products of all the orders, so it will be a many to many relation. Uh, explicit many to many relation because not only we will be mapping order and products but also we will be storing the quantity. And apart from that uh, we will be having a order event as well, so if order is out for delivery, accepted, cancelled and all, all these things. So let's create them so first you will say model so let's borrow something from here we will have the user id we will have not the product id then not the quantity apart from that we will be having the net amount it will be of type double sorry decimal and it will be orders what else do we need in order we will be needing the address as well so address will be of type string so we will be like uh, computing the complete address from this address model so the comma separated address which we have seen on the cards so we will be computing that and storing it as a string in this order and apart from that I don't think so we need anything else so let's uh, create the reverse relation as well so in the user we will be having orders so it's done now we will need another model which will be order product and again we will be copying the same thing sorry and here we will be having order id because this uh, product will be linked to any order and it will be of type order and apart from that we need a quantity it will be int we don't need address here and it will be order products let's establish the reverse relation as well products and it will be of type order product so it's completed and we have order id product id we need product as well so let's copy this so we will say here product id it will be of type product and in the product uh, let's establish the reverse relation we will say uh, so it will determine in which order this product belongs so and let's say order product it will be of type array so it's completed now we need one more table which is order events so it will be order event let's again copy this we store it here we need order we don't need product and we don't need quantity as well and we will say order events and inside the order let's establish the reverse relation as well so it will be events and we will say order event and we need one more thing so event obviously so we will create a enum here so let's go on top and create enum so it will be order event status so we will first the order will be like pending so it will be in the pending state then admin will approve this so it will be then go to the accepted state sorry yeah and after accepted it will be let's say out for delivery and then it will be delivered and apart from this we will be having one more which is cancelled so these are all the order event status now let's uh, use this so we will have a status and it will be 
order event status we will give a default value as well so it will be so we can have the default as pending so whenever the order is created we can give it a pending so it will be pending so we have all three models here let's uh, create the migrations for these let's quit this and we will say create order tables let's wait and see if it succeed or not okay so it succeeded so we have all the three tables in place now in the next lecture we will create the controllers and try to create all the routes for that